welcome back nana here <clears throat> so i am now going to conduct my next online training on product data hub and then order management actually official so it is beginning on 4th of march uh, 2023 so let us now have a quick look at the synopsis of it <clears throat> so if you go and then type on the url oracle nana.com slash om fine oracle nana.com slash om you will now find my website coming up over here now so this is this training is on product hub as well as order management actually so this is in fact a low cost i'm charging only inr 2500 only so it will not teach you all the basics you may not be able to get a very in-depth coverage but the basics will be definitely be covered you will become capable to explore the application to the core actually so this is basically suitable for beginners on product hub as well as order management even experienced consultants may also find some useful information on this training actually so it's worthwhile <clears throat> for spending 2,500 INR. So the prerequisite is what uh, uh, we assume that uh, you need to know inventory and procurement. Because inventory has got four major topics like controls, transfers, replenishments, and accuracy. They will not be taught in this, in this training. <clears throat> so it is assumed that you know it. Otherwise, you can even buy my records at my website, main website, oraclenana.com, and then buy the inventory and procurement. But... <clears throat> We will not talk in this training, but how are the integration to these modules will be covered during this training? OM to inventory and then OM to pro procurement will be covered in this training actually. So it's starting on 4th of March. Right? It will be on weekends only. And then it will have three sessions every day. Fine. One of the guy has asked, so if I don't attend the first session, shall I join the second session on every day second session? No, it's not like that. It is a continuous training actually. <clears throat> so it's uh, basically 5.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. India. Fine. It is not that first session will be repeated on second section and then second will be repeated on third. It is not so. Right? It will be a continuous training. So we can even say three hours a day. So in a weekend, it is six hours. And then five weekend is what? 30 hours is the total duration, actually. So it is a continuous training with a, because I am an old man, 62 years old. So I need some break <clears throat> after every one hour. So I'll be having a coffee break and then I'll be doing it. The timing is really very difficult because uh, I will be having participants right from West Coast up to Australia. So 4.30 p.m. maybe around 4 a.m. in West Coast actually. And then 9 p.m. will be around 2 a.m. in Australia actually. And it's impossible to whatever the cover the entire globe with one timing actually. So some, some people have to compromise on this one. And there is no other go. And then I'm tentatively expecting it to whatever the go for around five weeks. And it may even go beyond depending upon the interactions. There's no other go speed. And then in order management, there are exclusions because uh, order management is now highly dependent upon ADF. Actually. <clears throat> so the pre and post transformation rules will not be covered. The product transformation rules, fine, pricing algorithms, extensions, business rules, fine. This many topics are not covered because I am not aware of ADF actually. So they have integrated ADF to a great extent in order management as far as fusion is concerned. Whereas uh, in EBIS, EBIS fusion, order management is totally independent actually. So I am not aware of it. So these are all exclusions. And so uh, I will now cover something in uh, do customization. I will now tell you about how to what I was uh, bypass the reservation, how to bypass the scheduling, and then the product transformation rules. I will now show you about how to do the buy one get one free. Right? Every advanced pricing is now under the product transformation rule only. So some simple simple things I will be telling you, but it will not be covering the major aspect of uh, these topics actually. Not be covered. And if you still have some expectations, you talk to me. And then, or write to me, and then uh, get it clarified about uh, uh, your need now. Fine. If you have a specific need, then whether that need is going to be covered or not. Fine. And then uh, you can even make a payment on this now <clears throat> for this one. So it is an international payment gateway. It accepts everything. Uh, if you are in US, it will even accept the US credit and debit cards, every country's card. Only thing is, what happens? Your card must have the two factor authentication. That is what the payment gateway says. So uh, if, uh, if you have the two factor authentication, you can try with your card. And then if it's still not working, you talk to me. And then if you have a PayPal, I will now give you my PayPal ID. So through which also we can very well make a payment to me directly. <clears throat> that. So uh, if this is not working, actually. And then as soon as you make a payment, you send a screenshot to me in my WhatsApp number. I will now register you for the course. Now fine. Uh, we will have some experienced guys who are also joining, actually. And they say that there may be some value addition to the course. And so what happens? They're joining it, actually. <clears throat> so, you know, but in fact, what happens? I'm now going to limit it to 200. So once when it reaches 200, I will be removing this payment link actually. So then afterwards you cannot register, fine. Make it passed. So that what happens, uh, maximum is 200. <clears throat> uh, till now 60 have registered. And then in the next one week, I think it will now ramp up. 
few orders. This is my contact numbers. And then I do it now, fine. So this is how uh, the product hierarchy, fine. The product, how I'm just learning it, actually, fine. I'm not uh, fully conversant, actually. So you'll have a parent item class as laptop, and then you'll be having a child item class as well, laptop 3, i3, i5, i7. And then you'll be having some attributes at the parent level, and then some attributes at the item level. Fine. This is how a, a basic hierarchy, product hierarchy is being done. So as far as product hub is concerned, fine. Whenever you want to have new attributes to be added <clears throat> for the item, then you will not go for this license actually, product hub license. And then the item needs an approval. So then also what happens, you'll be going it and then you can even go for a change order. There are so many aspects of it now, fine. You'll be learning all these things. So this is a simple hierarchy of uh, what happens, a product, how the product is going to be now. And then uh, this is a worksheet of this now, fine. You can go through this. I'm now going to cover this actually. This one I'm going to cover it now, fine. You'll now have a look at it. Fine. I'll be covering it in this training actually. Look at that. So, in fact, what happens? I'm still learning, and then the balance topics I am expected to learn completely by uh, the end by the, during this next week. Now, fine. So that what happens? The agenda will be full actually. So this one, and then you can everyone look at the order management agenda, and then if you have any specific one, fine. Initially, I'm going to what happens? Set up the order management, and then push it into AR, and then we will now go up to what happens on the 68th step. <clears throat> will be what happens? Uh, creating the trial balance also. Fine after that. So OM to AR will be covered in a skilled and fashion, actually. <clears throat> Even we'll look at the bank branches, accounts, fine, receivable activities, everything, etc. etc. So to some extent, what happens, you'll be touching the receivables also. <clears throat> but unfortunately, I'm not aware of accounting actually. Fine. Supply chain accounting for order management is not known to me. So if you have an expectation, then what happens? You can contact Tijil. He is an expert of this. We'll be conducting very frequently the trainings on uh, he is uh, now planning one training on. Uh, complete supply chain accounting. So, if anybody interested, please write to me. I will now forward his details so that what happens, it will be very busy for you. Fine. It is a, in fact, what happens nowadays is now becoming a must that every supply chain consultant must know the accounting also. Fine. Supply chain accounting must be known to you. So, you will now cover from the basic to advanced level. So, I will now pass on his uh, details to you. Fine. So, if you have details, you just write to me. I will now give you the details. So, for the balance ones, I don't have any agenda as such. No, fine. I will be giving you only bullet points actually. So on this one, what happens? You go there, and then you know how to do it. <clears throat> so this is how uh, this is going to be actually. <clears throat> so this is the training agenda fine, for the product hub as well as the thing. So uh, you can go to my website oraclenana.com slash om, and then you can now directly make a payment, or otherwise you can write to me for any clarifications and then do it. Now. So this one in this place you can make a payment. Find the international payment gateway. So how it's working? And if you still have some doubts, you can better write to me or talk to me, and then. Uh, you can even message via WhatsApp also. <clears throat> fine. Do it. So now uh, let's now go to the uh, today's topic of what the product hub. Fine. So let me open up now. Fine. Click on it. So let me open up the worksheet actually. <clears throat> so PDF worksheet. I'm going to open up now. Fine. PDF worksheet. <clears throat> the one now. Fine. Click on it. So let me open it up. So I opened it up now. Fine. So we'll now go on and have a look. So first of all, for demonstrating this, I will be creating a user now. So we'll be having. A, we need a legal user now. So a legal user is only what happens, uh, can perform all the supply chain activities. And so what happens, we'll now go on that. Take a copy of the task name. We'll now go there and then we'll now create a legal user. So click on it. We'll now go ahead and then create a legal user. The first activity is to create a legal user. So go to the setup and maintenance. And then go there, click on it. And remember, if a user is now created by a security console, they are not fit for supply chain transactions at all. So don't create any uh, transactional users from uh, security console. Right? Go to the manage users and then go there. So before I start, what I will do is I have already uh, what happens, done the complete exercise on A01 now, right? on the prefix of A01. So let me go on and change the prefix to A02 now. Right? Control H, I go there. I will now find A01. I will now change it to A02. I will now replace all. Right? Click on replace all. So there are 50 replacements I've been in now. Fine. So I'm now changing from A01 to A02. There are 50 replacements I've been made. Fine. I'll now give a comment. I click on close. And then I will say. So go there. Go there. So, go there. so now what happens? I go there. I will now click on plus and then let me create a user. So first I'm going to get a legal user for doing this activity now. So A021 underscore EMP1 is the username. Go there. So last name is EMP1. Fine. It is A021 underscore. And then I'm giving a fictitious email. Fine. A021. Let's go to EMP one now, fine. Because email cannot repeat at all, fine. If uh, you are using already an email, fine. I have now used my emails everywhere, and so what happens? I'm now using a fictitious email, fine. Go to the A zero two one. Let's go to EMP one. 
the what is the username i'm not giving on the name itself right so these things you have to discuss the end client and accordingly derive the usernames as well as the passwords right employee name they will now give you so uh, the nomenclature for the username you have to discuss the end client and accordingly derive the username section so go there make the person type as what employee and then i'm still i'm now working on this what's called your vision no i know that if you go back if you go to the what supply chain i know that so I will not go to this place. I will go to the Oracle Supply Chain Administration. I will go to the fourth one, additional docs records four now. Fine. I will not go to the fourth one. So here, if you go on and have a look at the vision enterprise structure. <clears throat> fine. So I am not going to work on the existing uh, vision enterprise structure. So what happens? I will not go there. I will not put the LD now. Fine. US one, LD is the one. So I will not go there. Let me put this now. Fine. So go there. So the legal entity is what? US one legal entity. <clears throat> so it is a ready made structure available on the vision. Now, fine. I am using it. And then the business unit is what? US1 business unit. I'm going to use it. Go there. So US, US1 business unit is the one. I'm choosing it. So the job, it is always recommended to have a job for every employee because job is a very important one. So I will now put what on HR and then find out now. Find, is there something is available? Find something is available. I'm going to do. And then the department also, what happens? I will now put Hong Kong. Fine. You'll have one department available here. Fine. So even though for our exercise, it is not required actually, but even then, what happens? It is a, it's a customary practice to provide a job. Now. So positions will be given uh, through some other way. Yeah, fine. So that you can watch my videos on uh, procurement. I will be telling about how to reach, how to set up the procurement, uh, the, the position for the employees. So with this much being done now, I give a seven close by which what happens? We are now completing that user creation. Actually, he is a legal user because he has got association to LNBU. So once when a user is having an association to LNBU, he is called a legal user now. So he'll be doing all the activities on this. So, so, so the user is now created. The step number one is now complete now. <laughs> Now, what happens? We will now go to the security console and then we will now add the below rules for us. <clears throat> so, click on the home icon and then let me go to the spot. <clears throat> go to the place. I will now go to the tools. I go to the tools now. Fine, go to the tools. And then go to the security console. So, I am now going to add the roles for this user actually. So, let me go and then query my user actually. I go there. So, in this place, I will now go to the user area. I click on the user area. I will now query my A02. Fine, enter it now. Fine. The A02 is the one. Fine, click on it. So for the first thing is what I will now reset the password and click on the reset password. So we had to log in now. Fine, go there. So go there. So always give a common password which you can very well remember now. Fine. Otherwise, it will be very difficult for you to work upon now. Fine. So keep some simple passwords. Do not make any complex passwords. So click on save and reset password. Oh God, it's not working. <coughs> So click on, it must be same, otherwise it will not accept at all. <coughs> so I give the password, I will not go to the edit and then add the roles. So for demonstrating the product hub, fine. you need the mainly the two roles. So one is what the product data steward is required. I can take over it. I will not go there and then paste it over here. <coughs> I will not choose the Ora now. Fine. Ora is the highest power. Fine. Click on it. I will not add it. And then similarly, the product manager is also required. Fine. These are the only two roles which are required for a what's called a product hub demonstration actually fine the, remember this is a licensed product and then if you don't have a license you cannot work on the page at all thank you for membership so apart from that what happens i'm now adding more so many roles no kind of that. so this role is required for setting up now in the instance if you want to set up the application implementation consultants will now give you the setup prior facility fine click on laura i'm choosing it now click on okay add the role membership fine there's no added afterwards what happens sir? the it security manager is for coming to the security console actually so in many implementation, what happens? The implementation consultant will not be given the IT security monitor at all. Only the project manager will be keeping it. And then whenever you want to add any roles or any modify anything on the system bin, then you have to request him. He will do it now because of security reasons. Fine. Oracle's SaaS compliance model says that IT security manager should not be given to even the implementing consultant also. <coughs> Fine. That way it works. <coughs> Go there. I don't know. I will not. It is preferable to give an employee role. Fine. Employees are basically an abstract role. It provides you a lot of facilities. Even uh, what about the scheduled process can be done with an employee role. Fine, have it as a habit to give this extra set role. Go there. So these two things have been on. Inventory manager is required for what happens your activity on the inventory. Now, fine, you want to make a miscellaneous result issue, and then you want to make min max planning, and then other activities on the inventory. What happens you do it? You are not you are not going to do this exercise, but anyhow, what happens? I am just telling you about how to add it. Now, fine. So inventory for all the activities. Whenever you want to receive anything on the gate, now fine. So let's say from supplier you want to receive. And then from a customer, you want to receive as an RMA. <clears throat> and then whenever you perform intro transfers, and then transfer orders, all these things via gate, fine. this receiving agent is a must know. So depending upon the 
work you are doing it accordingly do it warehouse manager when you want to deliver a product into the inventory it will be gate receipt actually receiving agent and then when you want to do a put away you need to have this <clears throat> and then even though they are not relevant for this training but i am just uh, giving an idea now right? so whenever you want to perform a ship a ship and all, so do through tra transfer orders or order management fine sales orders so then the shipper manager is required fine even for the movement request when you want to perform a pick confirm you need the shipping manager role either the shipping uh, agent or a shipping manager shipping manager is higher priority fine so this many roles we are given fine. and again to how about the give you a guide idea about this fine. even though we are not going to use any of things fine work so okay fine so we are not everything and then will not give a same okay fine seven rules so by which we have added more than required okay fine okay this is what this is a mistake actually fine i will not add what am i at the rate gmail.com so click on save and close so we are now created a new user with the appropriate roles and the password is also set now so whenever you create anything any activity on the security console make it a habit to run the uh, what happens uh, this one uh, import user role and this concurrent you run it so that what happens uh, whatever you have done on the security console will be synced into the transaction systems fine with that so click on it then go there then go to the tools security console <clears throat> go to the tools and then go to the security console and then here i will not run this right to connect schedule the new process i'm oh, sorry i'm sorry uh, i had to go to the sh scheduled process now right so click on the home icon not here so go to the tools and then here i go to the scheduled process and then it will not run it now right click on the schedule new process i'm going to run it so click on it no paste it fine with that so give it a tap <clears throat> import user rule so i never you know do any any changes on the security console what happens you run it so that the setups on the security console will be synced into the transaction systems even though the system has got a inbuilt mechanism of syncing it but it is preferable to what happens run once whenever you visit the security console right so that what happens it will be pakka that it will all be synced into the transaction systems whatever you have done fine now running 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 fine wait for it and similarly run the ldap also fine so the ldap will also perform this is only for the activity on the security console this is a, a generic one where any setups being performed what happens they will be sensed by the transaction systems so give it a and then go there so the one fine do it so this will be sensed by the transaction systems so click on submit so run these two once <clears throat> so any setups you doing it even though uh, both the things are internally scheduled actually but uh, it is a, we are now doing the four syncing actually by this so this is for security control changes this is for all setup changes actually <coughs> It all done now. Fine, so go there. Now log in with other user. Fine, go there. Now log out. Then we are now create a new user with all the uh, requisite roles for this uh, product hub training. Actually, fine. Click on sign out. Now click on confirm now. And then let me log in with the new user now. So it's what a zero two one underscore emp one. And then with the new password, I'm now logging in. Now. So I have now given everything in a caps. It doesn't matter. Fine. Username is not case sensitive actually. Fine. Username is not case sensitive. It will not directly go inside now. So you can even give a capsule small it doesn't matter. So go there. You know, save. So we are now logged in with the new user now. Thank you. New user we are now. So go there. Now we are going to get a location actually. <clears throat> so if you go and then have a look at our uh, this thing now. Thank you. Connect. If you go to the vision interface structure again now. Thank you. We have this now, this place. <clears throat> so go to the place. Fine here. What happens? We have one master all, and then ready made made, and then we have got plenty of child dogs. And then for this training, I am now going to get one more master now. Fine. So. uh it is not advisable it is not really recommended to create uh, two masters below bio fine with it is like a two netas in a party it will not break down no fine like ops and eps in tamil nadu <clears throat> fine you should not have two master rocks below bio a bio can have a maximum of a, what happens one master rock the minimum is zero master rock that means what the master rock can be shared across bio sector and that is the best practice no fine so oracle always recommends to what share the master rock across all the bios okay. provided the chart of accounts is going to be same on the ledger actually fine the master will be using a primary ledger and that will be having a chart of accounts if the chart of accounts is going to be same then we can very well share the master org across the multiple bu fine that is the best practice which oracle recommend you sharing it is the best practice so for this training purposes what i'm going to do is i'm now going to make one more master org it doesn't matter it will work actually for the training it will definitely work but that is not the correct practice actually i will not get a master org no fine work no go there so we will not go on the kind of our master org i will not for which what happens every uh, organization needs a location actually fine for that point i will not go to the place first of all i will not get a location so go to the setup and maintenance and then let me go on then create a location oen <clears throat> you going to get a location click on it i will not go to the what search and then i will not paste the task name oen now enter 
So what are the manner locations? Thank you, Monty. <coughs> there are like two locations for this. One master and one Thank you, Monty. But here, the master location is what? This is the master location. Take over it. Master location. <clears throat> so go there. I will not paste this over here. Now, fine. Click on the code. I will not paste it. And click on the description. I'm going to paste it. Now, can go that point. And then I will not put the zip code as what? 10020 and then give it a tap. So automatically, you know, pump up the small values. Right? And then do not change the country, fine. And because uh, the vision instance works very well with the United States. Fine, go there. No one. <coughs> A02, fine, left. <coughs> and I will not put the line address as zero. <coughs> so the remaining, I'm not going to set up. Fine, nothing is required. From a supply chain perspective, none of them is required, actually. Fine, this much is sufficient for location creation, actually. And go there. So click on submit, by which what happens, it will be start to create this company. A02, mass location. Fine, click on this company. Now submit it. So the concurrent program, the scheduled process will be running a program in the back end and then we'll be creating it. So once we're created, you can go there and then A02 and then make a search, it will be showing over here. Okay. <clears throat> so the first location is coming. So, the first location. so click on create, I will not get the second location. So I'll not go there. So I will not go to the place. I will not take a copy of the second one. I'll find the child or location. And remember every location must be distinct for every or. That means what one location should not be shared with multiple orgs. Fine. Whereas it is not so in the case of eBiz. So please, uh, those who are coming from eBusiness, what happens? You have to forget that that concept. Not, one location should not be used for more than one org. Right? Only one org is one zero zero two zero. I'm not putting again the same zip code. And then I won't choose it. No, fine. So in reality, you will be putting all the real addresses now. Go there. I will not say a zero two. Fine. Address one. No, fine. That is the zero. That is the one. No, fine. Exactly. Can say submit now. Fine. Which what happens? No. So the location set is going to be a common set. This has been fully explained on my inventory training as well as in the procurement training. So we will not be having time to explain all those things. No, fine. The reference data set is common set, and then the date is one one fifty one. <coughs> so click on it. No, submit it. So if you make a search, you will not find both the locations coming up over here. So the locations are now created. Fine. I will not right click in the top, and then I will not duplicate the tab. No. Fine. Click on the duplicate tab. So we are doing it now. Fine. Go there. So click on it. I'll not go there. So the locations are connected. Fine. Go there. So location no creation is completed. Fine. Go there. So now we'll now go to the manage inventory org, and then we'll now create the master org. <clears throat> fine. We'll now go there. Go to the next tab. Fine. Go there. So I will now go to the again. Click on it. I will now go to the setup and maintenance. So click on it. I will now go to the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> and then click on the task list, and then go to the search. This is a generic search area. This is the FSM area. Fine. No need to work on the FSM. We can go to the generic search area. And go there, click on it. I will not paste this and then click on find manage inventory organization. <coughs> so, this is one. So, this is a task. And go there. So, let us now go there and then we will now create our first org. So, this is the first org. And go to the manage locations. No come now. Manage inventory org. So, I will now create the A02 master org. So, I will not take a copy. So, I will not take a copy. You know, go there. So, click on plus on that. I will now create my master. In reality, remember, you must have only one master org at the maximum below ABU you now. So here I'm now giving the first letter has to be capital fine, capital A, zero to zero. Zero means what for me, for me, the convention is zero means what master org. Master org normally is what is no transactions. And then many people have the habit of creating the master org as a word item org. If you create it, it will not work for certain modules. Please don't do it now. Fine. Even the master org you get as the inventory management. Fine. Don't, don't go for item management, only for inventory management. So go there. So here, if you go on and see ours, now fine. That. So the business unit is what? US1 business unit. So I'm going to use it now fine. So this business unit is now going to have two masters or multiple masters also. I already created A01. Now I'm now creating A02 also. And multiple masters will be available. Okay. So I will now say US1 and then give it a tap. <coughs> only for training purposes, we are now creating multiple masters in child. In reality, you'll be having only one master. I will now go there. I will now put A02. Fine. A02 and then give it a tap. So once you give it up, I will not put the master location. Remember, this location should not be associated to any other org. So go there, drop down, and then put the legal entity over there. Now, on US one legal entity, and the profit center business unit will be coming automatically. Fine, this will be having a great impact, and then Tijil will be teaching you a lot about this. Now, fine, click on it. So do attend his training on the cost accounting. So he will be explaining all the cost accounting of all the modules, all the supply chain modules actually. So the organizations what A zero two, and then give it up. So when, when this org and this org are same, this is the master org. When this and this are different, is a child org. And then schedule is what? You can choose operations. Operation is schedule. I'm choosing it. And then always have a habit of locator control. Determined at subunit level. That is the best level, actually. And then enable the manufacturing and maintenance in the beginning itself. Because once the transaction starts, they will not allow you to make a change on this one. So this much is sufficient for the master org creation. Fine, click on save and close. By which, what happens? We are now completed the create of a new master now. And remember, this is only for the training, actually. In reality, you will have only one master below the BU. So, A02 and then query for it now. 
so you'll have it no problem so easy to master or gazelle i can complain i will not create a child or no right? i'm not going to get a child or no more that thing right? so i will not what happens do the child or no problem no problem so this is the name of the child or no right? so let me take a copy of the child or you know go there so go there click on the name no problem paste it over here no problem click on it it is a capital a 021 find the child or is having one and then the same business unit find right? yours one and then go tap so i'll be putting associating my a02 and then go tap and then choose the child one no find okay okay and then i'll not drop down the le and then choose my le as a us one business unit us one legal entity only the profit center business unit is coming thank you the pcbu the pcbu and then the management business unit can be different also fine that all will be explained in the training in the cost accounting actually go that to part the a02 and then go tap <clears throat> so this is a child or no find okay okay So that. So if this are rather this is a master all sorry it is not a child or fine you have to put the master all within. So everywhere it has to be the same master all fine. The master all has to be same across all the all. So is what is right. So the master all is that kind of the point. I will not go that point. And then the grouping behavior is what is going to be as a definition all and not reference all. Reference all is only for transportation management and then don't use it. Use only definition all. And this option will be coming to you only on a child or no fine. When when this and this are different. The child or at the time use definition or do not use reference or reference or is only for transportation management and not for supply chain management like that. Operations then give it a no. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, operations and then make a search. No, thank you for search. I want to use it. No, thank you for okay. And then locator control determine and submit all is the best level. And remember, if you don't set it up beginning, afterwards you cannot make a change at all. It is the best level which Oracle records. No, thank you. And then enable this to find out. So click on seven close by which what I'm, my child or representing the same master is now created. So this is basically what happens. Draupadi model. In a Draupadi, what happens? You have to share the master across multiple childs. Right? Multiple childs has to share the master. Right? So the one. Click on seven close. No problem. So click on search. No problem. Everybody will be having the same master. So go there. So click on it. Click on it. And then having done this, we had to go to the location. Then we had to tie it now. Okay, click on go to the master now. Fine. Click on the edit now. And then click on update. So click on okay. So go there. And then here I will now put the inventory or fine A zero two and wait for it. It will now suttering suttering. And then finally go and fine. You now choose the master. Or. So the master or location is now tied to the master or fine. We are not tying it. Fine. Location organization tie is also must now. Fine. Click on submit. So you know, somebody get frankly on us. It is not done, and this is only for the child org also. We know, do it now. So click on. I cannot find that. <clears throat> and choose the child, and then what happens? So click on edit, and then click on update now. Find perform update. So go there. Click on OK on this update location. The date is OK. It's not changing. It doesn't matter. And go there. The year zero two. And go there, and then choose the child. So click on submit by which what happens? The location organization tie is now complete now. So all the activities of this is not complete, and then we must have at least one sub inventory over here. Now, fine, minimum one sub inventory. You may even need more depending upon the activity you are doing it now. So I will not go to the manage sub inventory to look at the stars. Even though we are not going to use it in this exercise actually, but it is what happens is preferable to what happens to do it now. Thank you for it. So go there. So click on enter now. Fine, manage sub inventory to look at the stars. Here, what happens is go there. There is a E zero two one now. Fine, not on the master actually. But as a child, and for creating a sub inventory, you don't need any data access at all. And we can very well do it. Only for transactions, you need the data access. Okay, you need the data access. Okay, you need to do that. So I will now say it's a year zero two one underscore RMS one. Even though we are not going to make any transactions on this year on this uh, training actually, uh, but in order management, we'll be doing it now. Okay, go there. <coughs> Paste it and then what happens? Go there. Year zero two. And then give it a to the child. Okay. So if you don't provide the location, the transfer orders will not work at all. On the subunit level, we need a location actually. We must. So click on save and close. <laughs> so click on it. It's not done now. Right? Sub inventories are now created. So we are now copying the sub inventory. Now what happens is since we are working on the product app, we have to enable the governance and consolidation. Fine. Get to go and then enable the data governance and consolidation. Get to enable it now. Fine. So let us now go to this place. Fine. Go to the done. And then we'll now go to the setup and maintenance. Fine. Go to the actions and then go to the offerings. In the actions, in the main area, in the first area, actions. Go to offerings. And then I will now choose the product management. I'm now going to choose the product management. And then click on the opt-in features. Fine. Enable governance and consolidation. Actually. 
that is required for your product hub activity. If you got a license, and then what happens? You have to use this now actually. Product approval. So go to this placement account. So the data governance is enabled, and then you can now see the data consolidation also enabled. Okay. So the governance and consolidation must be enabled, otherwise you enable it. It's already enabled, fine. No need to work on that. No doubt. No come back. No doubt. So it's not completed. No good placement. Yes. So what else? <clears throat> now uh, we have to uh, actually we don't need any data access for the product tab actually. But it is uh, whenever you perform any inventory transactions, there are four data access which are required actually. So go there. You know, go there. Give the data access. Okay. You know, again, go to the generic area of this. Not fine. All right. You know, go to the generic area of this. So click on search. No fine. Click on search. So click on search. No fine. I cannot go there. I will not go to what the data access for this. No fine. Click on it. I will not perform the data access. Also. So go there. Click on plus. So whenever you are performing any inventory transactions, what happens is required. No fine. No. No. One second. So for my user, my A02 one underscore EMP1, I will now first the, give the inventory manager a role, data access. Okay. And then I have got only one child or year. So depending upon that, what happens? You have to give it now. A02 and then one. This is required for all your inventory activities of miscellaneous transactions, your interop transactions, your moment request and other things. The transfer also. So go there and then I will now duplicate it. Okay. Click on duplicate. And then whenever you want to receive, you have to have what happens the data access for the receiving agent also. So you'll now go there and then give the data access for the receiving agent actually. Mm -hmm. Receiving agent. So click on it. I'm going to make the board inventory organization. Go there. A021. So the second one. Now the third one is what? For doing a put away, you need it. Now. Fine. Even for pick confirm. And then this is also required. Where else none of it is required. A big confirmation as well as your uh, whatever is a put away. This is required actually. A zero to one, yeah. and then finally shipping manager. Whenever you want to perform shipping, then what happens? You have to have the shipping manager. So these are the four basic roles on the inventory for which the data access is required. And then for the product hub, no need to have any data. Uh, any no need to have any data access actually. So both the product hub, fine. Your uh, there are two roles of the product data receiver and then the manager actually fine for which no data access is required. So, so for our training, you don't need it, but it is generally these are the four data access which are required for the inventory. And then for procurement, you don't need it. And then uh, for some advanced concepts like MOAZ, fine multi org access control, then you need a data access for if you are going to use the MOAZ concept. So click on the now, fine. So we are now given the data access. So go there. So it is not done now. Right. Uh, the locations fine over there. So now I'm fine managing material organizations. The location organization tag is now submitted. Right. And then we are now given what the governance is being enabled actually. And then we are now given the data access. Now we are now going to create the item class actually. So for which what was you have to go on then first of all. See, I now made a what was one uh, fictitious one now. If I click on it, I'll now go to the file and then I will open up the product hierarchy. <clears throat> product hierarchy I'm going to open up. So here I made one such uh, thing now. Fine. So you will have multiple item classes actually. So item classes are going to what happens mainly used for what uh, additional attribute creation as well as if the item needs an approval, it has to go to what and a person for approval, as well as we can even go for a change request and then so on and so on. So, on. so mainly for that have attributes. So I am now going to create a laptop as a what happens item class, and then I'm going to have specifications about a battery and graphics at the laptop level. And then one uh, parent item class may have multiple child classes actually. So I'll be creating these three child classes of i3, i3 and i7. And then below which below i5, I will now give the laptop space actually. So I'm going to give specifications of display, color, RAM size, state and district. It's just for example, say it's independent and independent actually. And then one for the tables actually. Fine. These are only for the examples actually. So you have to add all the specs of the laptop fine, below this. So this is how the hierarchy is going to be. Fine. You can even have n number of levels of hierarchy actually. So whenever you do it, what happens? Uh, the battery and graphics will be inherited into the what happens? The child item class actually. Fine, it will be getting inherited, and then so we have to specify every specifications whenever you are creating an item actually. So this is how it's going to work now. Fine. So we'll now go there. We'll now come to this place again. So I will now go to the manage item class, and then let me create my first one now. Uh, what happened? Uh, 
I think this is a different one of five second close now, right? So this is not having the A02 actually, five second close now. Oh, I might have forgotten to save it actually. So I might have made it, and then but I might have forgotten to save it actually. Thank God I forgot. Ah, is it here? This is the one. So PDH worksheet is there, fine. You can't commit something. Mm -hmm. This is what I done it. I'm not I opened up a, some other worksheet actually. Thank you. So go to this place, fine. Go there. So now sub unit is created. Everything is not gonna, I'm not going to go to the manage item class. So let me have one main item class over, you know, fine. So I'll not go to the manage item class. No, that I've not created. A01, I already completed. Thank you. Come on. I'll not go to the manage item class. Mm -hmm. Paste it now, fine. Go to the manage item class. And then click on the manage item class. In which what happens? I'm not going to get an item class actually. Then click on plus now. So click on plus. And then let me get an item class. So go there. So go to this place. Fine. It is going to be A02 underscore laptop. So let me take control. So all of you, please have a prefix for the training actually. Otherwise, you'll be clashing with others actually. So always have a prefix of your numbers, the real prefix. Otherwise, in the training program, in reality, it won't be having these prefixes actually. Fine. Only for the training, we are not doing now. Fine. I've already done everything on A01. So I'm not doing on A02. Fine. Click on the internal name. So the internal name is getting populated automatically. Fine. Go that click on paste. Them. So click on save and close. <laughs> So the A02 laptop is now created. Now. So click on. I will not go there. Right. Now see in the bottom of it. So A01 laptop is coming. Right. Click on it. So I'll not go to the place. Fine. So once this is now created, I'll not go there. Go to the management class. In the item management, whatever they go there. Fine. I'll now edit it now. Fine. Select it and then click on edit. Fine. Select the line and then click on edit. Now. Right. Click on it. I'm going to edit it. So go there. And then I will not go to that. This is the uh, item class actually. Fine. Click on the item management. So now. What happens, you know, giving what? Item number generation method is going to be sequence generated. It's normally sequence generated, actually. It will be normally sequence generated. You can even go for rule generation also and go there. So sequence generated. So what I'm going to do is what? I will now give a start, start number as what? A02, fine, underscore. And then the prefix, fine. The starting number is going to be 1000. 1000. The prefix is going to be A02, underscore. Go there. Increment by 1010. If you want, you can even give a suffix. So normally item numbers are usually sequence generated. It will not be rule generated actually. You won't be using it. But in rare cases, you may even go for a rule generation. And then the description is going to be inheriting from the parent actually. It's okay. Okay. That is going to be there. So the description is okay. Fine. So item description will be what happens. We can even say user defined now. Fine. I'm not going to inherit it actually. So I'm not going to use the So then what happens? We will not mention it. Fine. It will be inheriting from the root item class. Fine. If you go and then see this now, fine. So below above the laptop, you have a root item class. So below the root item class, I have created a laptop actually. If you inherit it, whatever you have set up there, it will be coming up over you now. So at the laptop level, what I'm going to say, use a defined. And then I'm not enabling the NAR. Fine. I made to learn it now. Fine. So before the training starts, I'll be learning it and then I will be adding the what about the agenda for this also. Fine. NAR, I'm not doing it. The user defined. So Item number generation sequence generated and then description is user defined. You're going to manually enter it now. Click on save. So as and when you keep on doing it, what happens? Give a save. So click on save. I don't go to the place. Fine. So it's not done. Now. <clears throat> so no, no tick on NIR because I'm here to learn it now. <laughs> I'll be learning it during this week actually. Now, what happens? I'll not go to the templates and formats and then the system automatically creates a template. Most days, what happens? You go to the templates and formats. The system automatically creates a template for the master. Thank you for I'll not go there. So I will not go to the query mode and then query the template for the master. Organization is what? A020. And then here it will be having a template for purchase the item template. Let's see. It will be having one template for the purchase item template. So it has now created the main root item class. Our laptop is below the root item class. So what I do is I'm not going to what? I will not go there. So I will not create it. I'm not going to get a template. So go there. I will not copy the above laptop uh, item class with a new item name. Fine into laptop item class now fine i'm going to copy it into my laptop item class so no go that one <clears throat> no go that one i will not select it and then here what happens i'm going to copy if i click on copy i will not copy it it is on the root item class let me go and then click on plus now fine i will not create a map organization code is what zero two one eight one of us is a a zero two <clears throat> zero five that is a master i'm going to make a search now fine click on it is the master fine click on apply so click on the now that is what is coming click on is a master chart no, 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 no. so it's the master chart and then here organization has been added now fine the master chart fine so click on okay now fine, click on okay so i'm now copying it from this one fine into my item class actually because my a02 is now falling under the laptop class because i'm now working on the laptop class and so when you copy this <clears throat> ready made one from a01 root item class when i copy it it gets copied into my root item class you know that 
So this place is go there. So it is now copied into my root item class. Item state that I will now make it as active now. Fine. Life cycle phase is going to be production. Do that not. And then here I will now make the units of measures each. Fine. Units of measures are very tough topic. And then I have given a lot of explanation of this. So each is the one I'm moving in around. So go there. And then tracking units of measures is going to be primary. Uh, and then pricing is going to be primary. And then conversion is going to be both. So full explanation has been given on the UIM and then the dual unit of measures in the inventory training. Fine. Buy it and then learn it. Now. Fine. So it has all been given off angle. Everything is not given. So now we are working on our uh, A02's purchase item template on the laptop item class and not on the root item class. So go to the specifications. And then here, what happens? You can now see that in the manufacturing, what happens? Oh. The costing enabled is on. And then this is the item defining attribute. And then the inventory asset value is a status attribute. So when, when these two things are on, then it is an asset item actually. And then you go to the inventory. So here you'll now find the item defining attribute of inventory is on. Stock out is the status attribute. Transactions is the status attribute. So all the three status attributes are on now. Fine. So this is sufficient. And then go to the sales and order management. You will now find the item defining attribute of customer order is enabled. And then the status attribute of customer order is enabled is also on. Fine. Customer order and customer order. The item defining attribute is the status attribute. And then shippable is yes. And then inv invoiceable is yes. Now fine. So these are all things that are there. Fine. Go to the purchasing. And then have a habit of uh, giving a list price. Now. Fine. So give a list price. So whenever you go going to integrate inventory into purchasing, fine, the list price will be picked up on the way now. Fine. And then they have added these three attributes on the item attribute. It is not there in emails now. Fine. Make it a this. When I was working from four years back, it is a mandatory one. Now I don't know what is the present status actually. Otherwise, what happens? The substitution in order will not happen now. Fine. The, you can now watch my uh, demonstration that is being so come on. So everything has been done now. Fine. So all these things are done. Give us same. Okay, you know, so the you must enter a new name for this template now, fine, because the template is already there. So it is not allowing the same name to be there now. Fine, click on it. I have no So you cannot give the same name. Fine, click on it now, fine. On my new item class, the same name is not allowed now. Fine, click on it. It's not allowing you. Fine, click on it. I will not change the name to this now, fine. I will not say a zero two underscore purchase item. So a zero two underscore purchase item. I will not set as a default also. So whenever I am going to create it, what happens? Uh, this template will not default not to be. So I copied the purchase item of a root item class into my class actually. And then I now set up all the attributes and then click on save and close by activity on the root item class to begin with is now complete. Right. So click on that. No, no. <clears throat> so go there, click on. So afterwards, what happens? Now that if I go there, one thing is done. So set all the default attributes. Now create item. What happens? I'm now going to create item <clears throat> below the A02 laptop. Okay. So I'm now going to create the three ones now. Thank you for that. I will be creating below the laptop uh, root item class. Fine. It is again below the root item class. The laptop item class has been given. This is the parent for us. And then below which we will be having three, uh, what happens, uh, your uh, item class. They are all child item class. <clears throat> so you may even have any levels of hierarchy, basically, depending upon the requirement. So I will now go to the again manage item class. So we are already going to the manage item class. And then I'm going to create below this. Thank you. So three. One. So keep my cursor on this now. Thank you on it. So keep my cursor on the what happens? A02 laptop. No, fine, that. So it is already in the bottom now. So go to fine. Keep your cursor on this place now. Fine, that. So uh, on the A02 laptop, fine, that. so click on there is no uh, what happens? A, a, X, a, a greater than mark is not coming. Fine. Only when it is having, it will be coming. Fine, click on plus. I'm not going to create it now. So the new item class is what? You go there. Well, now have all the <coughs> So it is what? A02 i7 laptop. Fine. Let us now create the A02 i7 laptop. And go there. So always have a prefix because we are all working on a common instances and then it will be clashing actually. The prefix is only for what? Not to clash with others actually. So click on save and close now. So we are now creating it. Fine. If you go down and then have a look at it now. <clears throat> In reality, there won't be any such prefixes on anything. Fine. Since we are all working on a common instances, fine. if you give it an expanded, you will not find the A7 laptop will be coming. So, so go there. So A, not the A02. You know how, what happens. <coughs> So A01 is already having I3, I5, I7. Similarly, what happens? We'll be having A02 also. <coughs> Go there. And then have a look at it. The instance has now suddenly become slow, actually. Let me wait for it to come. <coughs> so now, what happens? I will know how, what uh, set of the default attributes when go like one. So in this one, what happens the laptop? Fine. Uh, the laptop has been created. So similarly, create what happens? You go there, and then I will now create the item class. 
So uh, in this place, I have to make one thing. I have to make one change before I create the next uh, what happens item class actually. So item number description is going to be inherited from parent actually. So well, uh, go there. I don't know how item number description inheriting it. Off. So it's not working actually. So go to this place and click on. Uh, we'll go there. Right? I'm not working on it. Uh, we'll go down to the bottom. So I keep my cursor on the laptop. And then, so the one and expand it. So once again, uh, what I did, I will now have a look at it. So create item class A0 to I3 laptop. Now, uh, one second, we are into the other place now. Right? Uh, Okay, query the template purchase it up and you know made a chain of it on the not done offhand. Copy into this purchase is not done offhand. This is the 18th one, printed item class A03, I3 laptop below the A03. So go there. So first of all, we'll now create all the three ones now. I have now created what uh, the A02 I7 laptop. I think we'll not done how I'll now expand it. I've created it and go there. So expand it. We are not creating anything at all. No, no how it so yes, A zero to I seven laptop is there. Similarly, what happens the I three and I five also will not create. Thank you, it. Let us not go there. Keep my cursor on the laptop now. A zero to laptop. Go down off and go up. and then click on plus. Let me create these two things also. So what is what A zero to I I three laptop now. So the root item, the, the child item classes are now getting created actually. I seven. So I am not paste it over here. It is the I three laptop. No paste over here, Click on save and close. Similarly, what happens? I will not create. I think you there. So click on this. It shows you which is your parent also. And parent item level. Go that one. I will not choose what the i5 laptop. So I have to create all the things of my code. I will not paste it over here. Click on it. The internal name is coming and paste it. And then click on save and close. The which what happens? This activity is now complete. So I have now completed the creation of all the three laptops. Now, having done this, so here on the i3, find that item number description, and then uh, item number and description inherited from parent actually. We'll not go there. We'll not give the item number and description inherited from parent actually. And then we'll get to go on and check. I'm not going to mainly work on only on i7, so I will not be touching the other two. No, fine. Go there. So, since my entire exercise is on i7, we'll go on and see. No, fine. So, only on i7, I'm going to work. i5, I'm going to work. No, fine. I'm not going to work only on i5. So, only i5, I will not change the remaining ones. I will not change it. No, fine. Just to demonstrate it, I have not created the classes. So, on the laptop i5, what happens? I will not make a change. No, fine. I will not expand it. I will not choose the i5. No, fine. Uh, A0 to laptop. No, come down. <clears throat> So I will not choose the i5 laptop. A02. A02. I5 laptop. I will not keep it. I'll keep my cursor on this place. So click on edit now. <clears throat> so here it is now going to go to the item management. Here I will now make both the what's called item number generation as inherited from parent and then description is also inherited from parent. So it's all getting inherited. So here what I have given in this place is what? In the laptop I have given what? Item number as what sequence generated and then the description is user defined. So these two things will be uh, inheriting it to into laptop file. Right? It is a user defined uh, uh, sequence generated item number and then uh, description is user defined actually. Right? That will be getting inherited over here. Right? That is what else. So it is already there as such. Right? No NIR on this. Click on cancel. <clears throat> so they are all inherited from parent actually. <laughs> no, go that mode. So that is not done. Now, what I'm going to do is I will now create a what happens attribute group now. Fine, so I'll not take off of it. I'll not go that to manage item attribute groups and attributes. So here in the laptop level, I'm going to have two attributes of battery and then the graphics card. So I'm going to create these two things now. Think about it. The battery and the graphics card I'm going to create. I'll not go to the place. You click on done, fine, come out of it. I will not go to the task now. Fine, click on it. I'll not go to the task. Manage item attribute groups and attributes. Fine, click on it. I'll not go there. <laughs> We'll not create a new one now. So click on close. I will not create item group. So what is the display name for this now? First of all, I will not go on and have a display name. So the display name has to be there now. So the one uh, under the E under E2 laptop item class, create this attribute group now. I will not see. <laughs> attribute groups are generic actually. There is no need for you to go to the place now. So I will not go to the place. 
I will not have a display name like this one. <clears throat> so go there. So I want to go there. So laptop general specs. So I will now say a talk a zero two uh, general specs display. Now, right? now it's asking for a display name. Now fine. I will now say underscore display also. So I'm now giving what an underscore display. Fine. Right? So the display name for the attribute is what a zero two laptop general specs display now. So take off it and then click on the internet name and becoming and then both the a, AP name is also coming and then paste it. Okay. So no need to give the internal name and AP name is becoming automatically. So behavior is what I will not say single row and then uh, go there, click on it. Everything is not coming. So go there. If I try to save, it will not save at all. When you give a save, it will not save at all. It will not throw an error because uh, something is at least one context usage is required. Okay. And context usage, at least one is required. Okay. It's not saving at all. Go there, click on it. So we had to give one context you see. So the context is item, and then I will not go there. I will not drop down, click on plus. <laughs> <laughs> drop it down. I will not choose item. And then here, style to SQ is none. And then the master to child, I will not say it is inherited. I'm also there. So we privileges, and then these are all the privileges which you can give for other approvals. So we are now given one context actually. One context is there, and so click on save now. At this stage, you will not try to save. No save is getting saved up. Now it has got saved. Fine. Right? One context has been given. So go there. So click on it. Uh, I have now given one context on this. Now fine. Go there. <clears throat> we are now given the context. Item is not. So now what I'm going to do is I will now have what uh, uh, two display now. Fine. Click on it. So go there. Click on it. Uh, the display name I given as a common now. Fine. So I will now. It is not a common actually. Fine. I have now given the display. Fine. This is the same. General specs display is a name I have given now. Fine. So that is what is fine. I have given here as a common, <coughs> but I have given as what is a laptop general specs display. So this is going to be at this level now. Fine. So what I'm going to do is I will now go there and then have the correct one. Fine. So after having given the context usage, I'm now going to add the attributes. So in the attribute section, if you go on and see. So we are going to add the battery as well as the graphics card. Two attributes I'm going to add at the laptop level, actually. Mm -hmm. Laptop. Don't go there. Don't go there. Mm -hmm. Go to the attributes and click on plus one. Go there. It is a, always prefix with a, your number now, so that you will not be having any problem at all. Battery. So it is a battery, actually. And take off it. And then I put on the internal name. And internal name and AP name will be coming automatically for the description of it. So this is basically going to be column one. Mm -hmm. Attribute attribute character one. So the one I'm now creating it now. I will now click on the create values. So battery, I'm going to give uh, what happens uh, the two values. So two hours and three hours is the option for the for the person who is now creating an item actually. So click on it. I will not create an option. So I will now say a zero two. I will now say battery the one. So put it on the description. The description I'm pasting it. And module is going to be product hub actually. And click on search now. <clears throat> I'll choose the product type. Product and I click on search now. You know, searching for it. So I will now say uh, product hub is a one. The application can click on okay now. Mm -hmm. So validation type is going to be independent. And then here it is going to be what character and then it's going to be text now. Text. And then the maximum value I'm going to create it what is the 10 characters now. And then click on save the values I'm going to give. Thank you for saving. So the battery will be having two values. So click on manage values. And then click on plus no fine. Uh, the battery on the laptop, fine. how much of hours it's going to be fine. Two hours and three hours is the one. They're going to give it now. Fine. Click on it. No, go there. Plus no fine. These are two hours. So take a copy of it. <clears throat> and then put in the description. You can paste it. And click on plus. And then it will now give one more value. Three hours. <clears throat> so go there. So take a copy of it. And then put in the description. Paste it. And then click on save and close validation. The first attribute is now created for battery now. Right? Done it. And click on save and close. So, mm -hmm. so it is one fine. Everything is okay. Fine with that. So we can even what happens? Uh, give the what's called the default value also. Fine with that. One of them has the default value. Otherwise, leave it. We will not choose it. Now actually, fine with that. So the display size I will not have it for twenty characters. I will not say height. Everything can be one of them has been given. So click on save and close by which what happens? The A zero battery attribute is now created. So it is the parent level actually. At the parent level, you are going to use it. Now click on it. <coughs> so it is a laptop general specs display, the one on which what happens? We are moving it. Click on plus one. I will not go there. 
I will not go to what graphics card, 1K and then 2K resolution. Fine for that card. I will not go to the place. Fine. DA02. Fine. Graphics underscore card. One second. Data type is again character. So here, drop down the second attribute character group and click on the create value set. Fine. So the graphics. So I will not say it's a 0 2 underscore graphics card. Is the graphics card the one? And I'll take out of it and then I'll put in the description and paste it. In the model drop down, it'll be getting it in the top itself. Fine. Whatever there. What I, call. I will now make it as the independent. Independent and then here. Whatever the name is that. Make it the character and then text now. I will now go for 15 characters now. 15 characters. And then click on save and then it'll now give the values. The independent one, we have to give the values now. I click on manage this. And then click on plus. Click on add the values. So here, uh, the values we are going to give is what? 1K and then 2K now. I will now say 1K <laughs> resolution of R E S O L U K A Y resolution of it. 1K resolution can take off it. So the graphics is 1K resolution. I will now have 2K resolution. I just for understanding because we are giving it now. So go there. The 2K resolution. So we are now given at the heading heading level, fine. The parent level, we are now given two attributes. So click on seven post and come to mind. So there you are given 20 as a display size. Now I'll now give it as a 30 as a display size. The display size is slightly bigger. <laughs> Just to see the difference between these two. <clears throat> so click on seven post, which we are now completed creation of the two attributes for the laptop general display now. Fine, general specs display. So click on seven close by which we're now done. <sighs> Then I'll create it for that. So go there. So now uh, we'll now go there. Uh, this is the one now. Fine. Now for the IFA specs, I'm going to create now. Fine with that. So this is the general specs I given now. Fine with that. I've not created. So let us now go to the same top and then whatever I will now create the attribute group name as what? This is the one now. Fine. It's the IFA. I'm not going to get now. Fine. So here I will now go and then do it now. Fine. Click on it. Uh, this is the one I'm going to do it now. Fine. A02 laptop i specs. That is a general specs display, actually. Fine. The general specs display. I will not go to the place. Mm -hmm. the Attribute groups is the one. Fine. Go there. So you can even see on this place. Fine. If you go on the C on the A02, fine. Click on search now. It will not show you this. Thank you much. It will not show you the reason big reason. Thank you. So till now we are not associated it to any any of the uh, item class, actually. We are now creating the general attribute groups. Fine. Click on plus. I will not go there. I will not create the IFI display specs. Oh, not this one. I will not take it up for you. I will not go there. Go to the place. I will not go there. It is the IFI specs display, actually. I will not say underscore display. Right. Since the name is coming as a display, I am now giving it up. So, the general specs. This is the IFI specs. I will take out of it. Click on the internal name, and then the AP name will be coming automatically. Fine, because I paste it over here. Fine, click on it. So resolution is what single row <clears throat> behavior is single row. Fine, that. So the display view uh, database view is now coming automatically. Don't do anything at all. Fine. The context automatically you go there. Click on plus now and now make it the item level. So we have got multiple levels now. Fine, item revision and supplier. I now tested it. Fine, that. So we normally use it as item level. I will now here what happens? It is the inherited. So the one I'm not doing it. I click on save. The privileges also are not experimented on the top. And then go to the actions. So here, what happens? It is now saying that it is already having this now. Fine, go there. I will now put on i file now. Fine, the name is now clashing actually. Fine, it's not allowing you. Fine, go there. I will now put i file. Fine, capital i file. Fine. So uh, it is now giving the same name actually. So a zero to laptop. Fine, it is now picking up from this place actually. The name is coming up. So I will now add it on i file also under the view now actually. Fine, the previous one was a generic one. So it has now picked up from the display name and then it has now created a database view name. So now what happens? I have now put i file and then click on save. <clears throat> It's not done. Now. So click on save now. Click on plus. Now here I'm going to add plenty of attributes actually. So first of all, I will now add a color. Click on it. So I will now add a color. Color of the laptop actually. The IFA laptop. The color I'm going to add. Now paste it. Fine. Click on internet. AP name will be coming automatically. Fine. Click on it. Now go to place. Data type is going to be what? Uh, character. <clears throat> so go there. So it is a separate one. Fine. Since the attribute group is different though, it's now beginning with the automatic character one actually. Fine, click on the create value set. So I'm not going to get a color. So I will now say A02 underscore color. 
Now that is a is a value set now. Fine. So I have a value set. I click on the description. I mean drop down. I mean, drop it on. So now through the product hub, go <clears> there. <throat> yeah, what happens? You know, say it is independent. I will not go to the place. Fine. Character. I mean, make it as a text now. Fine. Click on it. Make it as a text now. <coughs> One second. So the maximum length is around 15 characters now. Fine. What I want. And then click on save and then I will not give the values for the colors now. Click on manage values. I'm not going to get the value for the other five. Click on plus one. Even. I know the gray color. Gray. Click on it. And then click on plus one. I'll not give it. Black color. Black. And then go there. Click on it. And then put on the place now. I will not give a blue color also. <clears throat> so blue. So this I will be making it as a radio button actually. Fine, the customer can choose as a radio button one or not. So click on save and close. And not done. So everything is not done. Fine. Team character fine. Click on save and close. Become the main area. Then here, what am I saying? Not a list of values, but I will not make it as a radio button. Now. So there's a radio button group. Fine. So click on it. The radio button group. So click on save and close is not done. <clears throat> so the color is now as a radio button. Now fine. Color is the radio button. Go that one. Go that one. I will not what happens the ramp size now. I will not make the ramp size as what as a free form actually. So you can now write it as a free form actually for the The color is now in so it's the A02. I will not say ramp size. So you can write it whatever he wants actually. Take over it. From the internal name and then going paste it over here and drop it off as a character. And the table name column is coming as a character. Go find it on it. I will not make it as a free form. So I will not say it's a A02, so it's a RAM size. Mm -hmm. So go there, so take over it, put on the description. And then the module is product tab again. So validation type is going to be format now, fine, not independent type, format. Then go there, the character. So here, there is a text now, fine. So here, I will not allow him to write up to 15 characters now, fine. There is no, give a save, there is no manage values will be coming because it's a free form, format only. Format only is a free form, so there is no manage values. Fine, click on save and close. So go there. So click on it. No done now. So click on save and close. Fine. So RAM size is now created. Afterwards, what happens? Uh, just for understanding purposes, I will now make one independent than one dependent actually. And state and district, I'm going to make it now. Fine, click on it. I will go there. Click on plus one. I will now say A02. Fine. The state actually, right? it is an independent value set, and then the next one is a dependent upon this one. Right? So take over it, put on the internal name, and then click on the description one. And paste it. <clears throat> and on, on, on. So drop down is a character actually. So click on create value set. <clears throat> so go there. I will now say uh, a02 underscore state. State is the one. I'm not doing it now. So state is the one. Right? Take over it, and then put on the description. And then drop down. And then choose this one now. So the validation type is going to be independent now. Right? It will be independent. Go that one character. <clears throat> and then drop it down to the text now. So I will now say uh, 20 characters for this one. Right? Click on save. Now the value will be coming back. So the state I'm going to give a value is not actually called first. I will now say Maharashtra. <clears throat> Maharashtra is the one. So take over it and then follow the description. So take on first. I will now make Tamil Nadu as another state. So this is only for what happens. The laptop will not be having this status actually. <laughs> so anyhow, only for understanding purposes, we are now creating this value set. So two values are being given for the value set. Now given seven close. <clears throat> so go there, concept close. So the state is now created. Fine, so click on seven close. We'll not create one district now. I will now make one value set for the district actually. Fine, A02. District, fine. It is A01 district now. Thank you. I'm going to take over it and then put on the internal name. The name is coming. Paste it over here. On Data type is what character. <clears throat> and then go there. Click on it. So district. I don't know. From the A02 district. District. District is the one. So take a copy it and then put on the description. Paste it. The module is again product up. And then here, validation type is going to be dependent actually. It is not format. So we are tested format independent. No, actually, dependent. Not, right? So dependent and go there, character. <clears throat> and then here, value subtype is text. Not, so go there. So maximum length is 20 characters. 
So now, so which is the independent one? I am going to you know, the independent one. K zero two is going to be a tab. So I am going to put it. Okay. So I will now say what the state state values are. So you are coming. I am choosing the state. Thank you, Consul. So we are going to give the values for what I was uh, both the state section. Thank you, Consul. Manage values. No, the second class. So the value is what Pune. Find Pune is the one. So I'm going to give it and take up it. I'm going to put it here. Here it is for Maharashtra actually. The internal value is Maharashtra. Find it on plus now. And then I will now put Thani here. <coughs> Thani and take up it. And then I put the description of it. So the independent value is Maharashtra. <coughs> Sorry. The independent value is going to be Maharashtra. I'm going to put plus one. And then here it is a value. Well, the one take of it and then paste it up and pop it off. It will be Tamil Nadu, and then I will not take one more value. Fine, I'm also taking the simple values basically Salem. So take out it and then put a description. And then here also, what happens? I'm going to make it up. So we are not tested what the independent and dependent nature of it. So click on seven close. So go there, click on seven close. We are now given these two values. Click on seven close. Next one is what table uh, for which I don't have much of a value. Here, right? So the one, right? so district, uh, the pay terms, I will not make it, right? I will not make it as a table actually. Right? So you don't go that word. I'm not on plus one. Before which, what happens? I will not go to this place. Right? That word. I will not go to the manage value sets. No, right? I will not go to the manage value sets. Right? I will not go to the manage value sets. Set percentage. So manage value set. So go to this place. And if a query, fine, you must know the table name basically, fine. Common, I am not putting query on the common, no, fine, click on search, you will be finding so many things now. So if you know the table name, it will be great actually. And value set code of the this thing, if it is known to you, it will be great actually. You will be able to find out. Click on common now. Oh, nothing is coming. <clears throat> common is not coming, fine. Module, I will not say general ledger, no, fine, click on search. So click on search. Uh, gen percentage, gen. And then click on search. So to the general agent module, click on the So click on search. So getting the value sets is really, really very difficult actually. And I'm not making it the independent now. So the uh, common C O M M O N no? C O F E D B what is a capital or what? I'm not accepting it. Common. So click on search. So many are coming up and uh, these are all uh, I'll not use the general. I will not use what M O N common. These are all user created value sets. I won't have the system created value sets actually. Ah, it is not coming. Ah, what to query? I will not say corporate. What to make the search? Thank you for search. And then uh, corporate, everything is not coming as a system. So if you, what happens, you go there, corporate product is there. Fine. Again, it is again a user-defined one. If you go on the navy, you won't find the values over here. No, fine, come on. I'm not getting these values. Fine. They're all user-defined values. It's not fine. So I queried something, and then I got it. No, fine. I queried something, and then I already have it. No, fine, it. So the structure, fine, what I got. Mm. So uh, this is on the resources, actually. Fine. So let me use these ones for the resource, actually. Fine. The value set for making a table entry, actually. So you must know the uh, value set of the table. Then only what happens, you can very well use that. So I know have two sets of values over here. You can test it. I will not use it for the resource. No, fine. The resources, I will not use it. No, fine. This one, I'm going to use it. No, fine. Uh, I will not go to this place. For the, maybe it is a man who forgot it. I made some search on something. I got it, actually. Uh, it is a manual price in ADD. Fine. If you click on edit, no, fine. So something is coming and it's again a manual only and it is not a system one so you mean to have it now so let us not go there and then create a paid terms now fine click on it you know make an next one i will not make a paid term now so i will not say a02 is to pay for which i must know the value set for the payment terms but i am not having it actually so i'm not using something oil so case to your mind display type is what character <clears throat> next character is coming i will not create it fine, click on take value set. So I will not say A02 underscore pay underscore terms. Actually, it is not a payment terms, fine. Because some value set I'm, I have already queried and then I kept it over there. No, fine, I'm not remembering exactly which one I used it. No, fine, so here, validation type is not 
format independent dependent now this time i'm going to go for the table okay click on the table so go the validation tip is going to be character of number so these uh, what happens star mark values has to be entered over here okay so go there so for the resource i already picked up actually fine go there so the from class fine go there to connect i will not take for it so if you, you must know the value set name that's it fine then afterwards you can very well use it next is what value column name no fine go there i will not take copy that value column name no. so value column name i'm not pasting it now fine go there next is what description column name is what resource alias so take over it i will not say description column name so once you put it it automatically gives the column type and everything coming everything is coming now coming over there next is var class fine so they have a var class here on the bottom so we have a var class in the bottom of it on the no paste the var class over there no and then the class order by class is what product number you are saying so order by that's it fine so if you know the value set you can very well derive these values and then you can very well put it down so fine so you can talk to technical and then whichever is relevant for your product hub you have to find out all the value sets so then what happens is whichever you want you can very well add to your this thing now fine for your item creation fine click on save and close so it is not done now fine so we are now created a value set on this now fine so payment terms is as a table actually fine go so click on save and close now fine the resource names are coming going to come as a table now so go there click on we will now have a look at this now fine no see fine go there so display i have not done it fine i will now make a display also display color is not done fine ram size is done state district and dependence display is the only one is missing now fine so now put in it in display <clears throat> so click on plus now fine i will now make a display the a02 display i am now creating it now fine so take copy it and then keep your cursor on this now fine click on it now make a display fine on data type is what character <clears throat> is all coming up like that so now put the create value set <clears throat> so now go there the a02 underscore display Right, display the one. Right. So take a copy of it and then put on the description. Also, in the description and the module is what drop it on and then choose this option. Right. So the validation type is what it is independent of it. What the validate validation type is what character. So fourteen inch and seventeen uh, inch of the display is not in the context now. I will not say fifteen characters now. So click on save and then give the manage values for this one. Manage values I'm going to give it. So go there. Click on plus now. I will not say fourteen inch. The one. I will not take copy it and then put on the description. Just click on the plus now. I now have a seventeen inch laptop actually. Seventeen inch. So take and copy it and then put on the description. Now put on the description. Then click on save and close. By which it is now completed. The display is now completed. So click on save and close. Now go to the next page. So here it is not a list of values. I will now make it as what drop down list. So previously we used to make as a list of values. Now it is a drop down list. So drop down list you will not use if the list of values is going to be ten or fifteen characters. If it is going to be huge, it will be only list of values. If it is going to be hundreds of uh, values, there uh, you'll be using it. But as a drop down list, what happens? It will be coming. So you can even uh, change the what happens? The display size and all. And so click on save and close. Is also done. <clears throat> so you have completed everything. No more space. So everything is uh, the table is also done. Right? So let us now what happens? Uh, go there. And then uh, uh, we will now have to associate the attribute groups. Point to the pages actually. So click on it. Now give a save and close by which whatever that for this one for the ice ice face specs we are now creating some six such a display names. So I'm like click on save and close. So it's all created. So we are now created two such thing. If you go and make a search, I'm not fine. Two such thing. One is the general specs and then one is the ice face specs section. So two attributes groups have been added. So this has to be added into our item class actually. So you can create any number of item groups. Fine. Every item groups. Every attribute groups. I will be having a lot of uh, uh, what happens specs actually. So if you go there, so I'll be having one item group which is the common one. So the battery and graphics will be added to the uh, laptop item class, and then the remaining six will be added to the what uh, laptop IFA. Fine. This item class I will be adding it. What I'm going to do now? Go to this place. <clears throat> so uh, we are not done everything now. Fine. Click on save and close, and then come out of it. <clears throat> we'll now come over here. Now fine. Click on it. Now go to the place. <clears throat> So manage associate the attribute groups. Fine, go to the pages actually. So go to the manage item class. Uh, then what I was edit A zero two laptop item class. Fine, go there. I will not go to the place. I will not I'm go to this place. Percentage manage item class. Manage percentage item percentage. Fine, class percentage manage item class. Fine, click on. So I will not go to the A zero two laptop. Fine, the main one. Now fine, click on it. 
there's no query in the top fine it's obvious there are so many item classes that are available here and no query for the a0 to find it is the main laptop item class i don't know what place this is the one now fine let me choose it below which we have three more uh, lower level uh, child level uh, item class i will not choose the a0 one a0 to laptop that is the main one now i will not click on it now so that you can also say it has not come to i5 laptop i have to come to the laptop actually I don't know why it has come to the i5 laptop actually. Mm -hmm. Even though I, I choose only laptop, but it has not chosen the i5 laptop actually. I will not go down or find it. Out. So I will now keep my cursor on the A02 laptop, not the i5 laptop. I'm going to come on. So in this one, what happens? You go there and then click on edit. And click on edit. You have to have in the top your laptop. And this is a generic with a parent one. So here I go to the pages and attribute groups. Now, if I click on the pages and attribute groups, I'm going to add my attribute groups over here. Okay. So I'm going to add the attribute groups in my laptop. So go to this place, over there. So go to the place, my laptop item class with it. Navigate to the pages and attribute groups. Over there. Query for your general specs one and then add it. So here, uh, if you see this now, fine. So this is the inherited, uh, what happens, uh, which has come from the root item class. Root item class has got one thing. It has not got inherited. Fine, click on plus one. I'm in the laptop, fine, click on plus one. I will not query. And then I will now add my attribute groups. I will now have to give a cancel now. Fine. Let us ensure that I am in the attribute groups. I am in the attribute groups. I am already in the attribute groups only. Fine. So click on it. I am now in the attribute groups only. Fine. Afterwards, I give a plus. So click on plus. And then let us now query the generic one. Now. Fine. Click on it. A02 is the one. And then click on search. Now. Fine. The general specs I have to add it. So the name is coming. Like this. Okay. So expand and see. The general specs. Fine. Click on it. So click on apply and then click on OK. It is now done. Now. So click on OK. So general specs is added. Fine, give us same. No? Fine, at this stage you can give me same. So on my laptop, I have now added this. So afterwards, what I have to do is you know go there. Fine, click on it. Yeah. Right. You are going to create a page actually. Go there. You know the, this is now added actually in this place. So create the page as what I will now say. This is the page now. Fine, it's a general specs page actually. Fine, easy to do. Laptop general specs page is the one. Fine, take away. I will now go to the page and then let us okay the page now. Fine, click on it. I will now go to the page. After having added the attribute groups to your A2 to A0 to laptop, I go that one. So I go to the pages actually. So click on it. They're all coming from the root item class, right? They're all inherited actually. Fine. So this is inherited, they're now coming on this one. Fine. So click on page now. Fine. I'm now going to create my own page actually. So the display name is what? It is the A0 to laptop general split page. Fine. Click on the internal name that will be coming automatically on this one. Fine. Click on the description and then page over here. So here instructions now. Fine. I will now say uh, general specs page. I'm not giving some kind of data level is what item and normally we'll be giving it only item level thing point. So the page is now getting created now. So click on okay. No no. So the general spec page is now created. So for which what happens we are now going to associate the attribute groups. Now go that mode. So I'm not going to click on the pages when we create a page fine. We will then add the attribute group. Fine, I'm going to add the attribute group. So this one I'm going to add it. So let me add my attribute group to the mode. The attribute group fine. Well, I click on plus now and then let me add the attribute group sums. And then I will now query again on the A02 fine. I've got two attributes, one for the general one. So only one is coming because that has been added now. In the attributes we added for the laptop, we have got only one attribute group that is coming automatically over here. Fine, click on it, click on apply and I remember that the parent one first. So it is now added. Fine, click on save now. So it's now save. So on the pages and attribute groups, we added a, what happens the attribute groups, we have added our attribute group now. Fine. The other one is inherited from the root item class, actually. We added it. And then afterwards, we have gone to the pages. Fine, click on the pages now. On the pages. And then the pages, we are now creating a new. Go on, fine, so these two things, again, coming from the root item class. And then this is now coming on. <clears throat> so, so they both belong to the root item class, actually, not our class, actually. They belong to root item class. So, go on. So my specs page has been added again. You know, I you know, created a spec page on which what happens? I've added the attribute. Okay. So click on save and close. This activity is now completed to the laptop level. <coughs> <coughs> Similarly, query that what happens? Uh, laptop specs and then add and the attribute groups. Okay. I've not written it very clearly actually here in this place. Fine. So we have to add what query the this is what I'm fine. Now here create the page A02 I5 laptop page. Fine. So first of all, we have to open up our item class and then do it now. Thank you for it. So the laptop page has to be done. Fine. So here we are in this one now. Thank you for it. We have to go to our page now. Thank you for it. Go to the place. 
So let us know. Make a search. No, thank you for search. And then let us know. Keep our cursor on the A5 item laptop. No, thank you for uh, A5 item laptop. Thank you for okay. It is not done now. Fine, click on edit. We'll not see whether you go into the A5 item laptop or not. Now it's now coming into the laptop only. Thank you. Cancel. So when I query it, it has to select it also. Now I don't know why it's not selecting it actually. So that is the thing which I am not very clear upon now. So I will now go to this place. Thank you for it. We'll now go to the keep your cursor on the A5 laptop and that. So go and then click on edit. Thank you. So I am in the A5 laptop. No fine. I go to the pages and attribute group. It is now below the laptop actually. So go to the place. So if you go to the attribute groups, fine, go to account. And then it is already showing you my added one on the header level actually. So on the root item class of my laptop, we have already added that is coming. So whatever I added is now coming over here. If I have added under some other item class, it will not be coming. Only my hierarchical attributes will be shown. Fine, go there. So click on actions and then click on plus no fine. I will now add the next one. A02. And then uh, click on search now. There's the i face text before. So whether you are in the parent or child, we can very well add the attribute groups which are relevant to both the parents and all the child's actually. In one go, we can add it. They're not done. So it's not done. Attributes can be added for your hierarchical uh, what happens the classes basically. In one place itself, we can very well add it. So the laptop is there. I'll not go to the pages now. So pages are specific to the item class, whereas attribute groups are common to, across the hierarchy. Oh, here also it's coming like this. No point at all. So go to this place. So uh, this is now coming. And then it shows you on under which item laptop. It, this laptop general specs is under the laptop and not our class. No point, not item class. Thank you. I'll now go back to what? I'll now create what? The page name. No the display page name we are going to create. So for the laptop. So I will now say it is a little display name. <clears throat> right. uh, I will not say ASOP. I will not take copy of it. Go to this place. I will not say it is a display page. It is a page actually. Fine. So it is a page actually. So I am now putting a page at the end of the name. No, thank God. So, so I face specs page actually. Thank you. So description. I will go there. I will not paste it. No, thank you. And then I will not say I fi uh, specs. Okay. The help text now. Fine. So data level is item. So the page shows you to which one it is belonging to. They are all inherited. And then this one general specs belongs to the parent one. And then this belongs to the child one actually. Oh, that one. So keep my cursor on the what happens the face specs. Fine. In the laptop, this is the display page actually. This is the laptop general specs display. And then if you go to the laptop, iFi laptop, nothing is there. I will not add it. Thank you, Marcus. I'm going to add it. So let me put it the A02. Fine with that. So click on search now. Click on search. We'll be adding it. So both are coming now. Fine. Now coming. So choose the, the iFi display. Thank you for apply. And then the attribute groups are specific to the page actually. They are specific to the page. Right. They are specific to the page. So on the iFi laptop, if you go on and see, you will now find my iFi specs is there. And then if you go to the laptop item class, you will now find the laptop specific page. So click on second place. So we have now completed what? The pages and attribute groups for both the parent item class as well as the child item class, actually. So here, L, it is not inherited, actually. This is now inherited from the root item class, actually. It is not inherited in where? Nothing is inherited from my this thing. So click on it. And then click on save and close. Now, this activity is now completed. Pages and attribute groups is now completed for both our parent and child. So click on it. We will now go to the place now. Now, what I was there, we are going to deploy it. No, it will not deploy it. So it will now go there and then deploy it. So go to this place, it will not deploy it. So click on done and then come out of it and then we are going to deploy it now. Manage item extensible flux to the one. So we can even query on the item or otherwise EGO. In this place, whatever they can query on the item, I click on search, it will not show you. Uh, this extensible flux field for this now, fine. Or otherwise, we can even query on the EGO now, fine. The flux field code is EGO. Okay. On one of them, you can very well query, fine. Click on search. You know, querying for it. One of them, you're querying it. So, we will not deploy it. Click on the deploy page. So, once when the deployment is completed, then we can very well create an item for our root item class. <coughs> so, this way, we can add multiple such things for yours now, actually. <laughs> So it is now processing it actually. 
sometimes it takes a longer time. Otherwise, uh, what happens if you've done the deployment again and again, it will be somewhat fast actually. All the four has to get completed actually. So now the deployment is now completed successfully. Click on OK. You will now find a green tick over here. Now find click on it. In the meantime, what happens? Now right click on the duplicate. So it is now deployed. Now, what happens if I try to go and create what uh, 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 an item, it will not come at all. Because since the governance and compliance are enabled for the product hub, so we will not be in a position to create an item at all. I will go to the product management and then I go to the product information management and then I will not try to what, create an item for my root item class action. So it will not come at all. <clears throat> So the meantime, whatever I'll write on the duplicate now. I'm not sure this. So this error, I'm going to show it now. I will not go there. Click on create data. <clears throat> so click on create data. I will now choose my org, my master org. I'm going to choose it now. The A020 is a one. Right. Let me choose my master org. So in the item class, nothing will come here. It will not come. So we have to provide the function security and data security for our thing. Otherwise, what happens? It will not be possible at all. So if data governance and governance and consolidation is enabled, then what happens? We have to go there and then go to the manage item class. If I click on it, I will not go to the setup and maintenance. And then we have to provide the function security and data security for every org if governance and consolidation are enabled. Go there. The manage percentage. Item percentage. Class percentage. So I go to the manage item class. I go to the manage item class. Fine. Click on it. I will now query my A02 desktop. Nothing like that. I will now say A02 underscore i5. I will now make a search. Nothing like that. I5 laptop. The one. Mm -hmm. so this is the one. Nothing like that. Okay. I will now edit it. So click on it. I am now editing it. A05 i5 laptop. So, this is the parent one. Is the one. So go there. I will now go to the security. I have to for this class. I have to add a security. Nothing like that. Security. I'm going to add it. Okay. So click on plus profile. Let me add it. So go there. And then in the group level, what happens? You give product. Product. Data skewed. So go there. So product data skewed is the one. And go there. Choose it. And then choose that of what actually. Organization is what? A0020. A0020. So go there. The product data skewed. I will not give a save. No. And at this stage, I give a save. Saving it actually. So this is called function security. And then at the bottom, what I was saying, we had to give it data security. We had to give it data security. Go to the actions, and then go to select and act. So we are going to give it data security also. So go there. So here, make a blank search on this now, fine. And then we normally enable everything. Fine. Every each and every tab regions of your item attributes, you're enabling it. And click on the left hand side, fine. Click on the dubba on the left hand side on the actions. Fine. Everything gets selected in one go. Fine. Click on apply and then click on okay. So this is a data security for A020. Right? You can now see for the A020, the actions are what everything is enabled actually. You won't disable anything normally. Fine. If at all, if you want to have an advanced level of what controlling only the purchase data and not the inventory attributes, so those things will be adding it. Otherwise, whatever they'll not add everything. So the function security is added. And then for the A020 actions, the data security is also added. So click on save and close. It is not done. Now, if you go there and then if you create an item, then it will be possible for us to have, to have it. Click on data. So our remember our template has been made only on the parent class and not on the child class. It doesn't matter. So it is applicable for both the parent and then all the hierarchical classes. Also. If you drop down, you will now find this. Now it's not coming because we had to log out and log in. Right? So it's not coming. Fine. Let us know log out and log in and then see the changes which you have made for the function security and data security of the manage item class. Sign out and sign in. <coughs> so click on confirm. And then click on sign in. Go there. So let us now go to the product management and then go to the product information management. And then since we are given the item security, fine, the function security and data security for our master class, master class, then go there, click on create up. Now go to the place, fine. A02 and then 0. Then go to the place, fine. A02 and then 0. So drop down, you will now find the item class coming up over here. Okay. Then, Oh God, it is not coming. So it has to come now. So what are the mistake I made? I given the item class. 
product management of mine on a concept A0 to 0 in a mass trial, which you want the function security and data security. Maybe what happens, sir, it was not coming up properly in this place. Now, let us not go there and then uh, no, redo it. It is not asking, uh, it, it didn't ask one data actually. So I will not go to the manage data, manage data blast. I was also wondering about why it is not asked for not I will not go to the manage item class. I will not say A02 underscore i5 laptop. I5 laptop I'm search for. I5 laptop is the one. I'm searching for it. I click on it just to go to my i5 laptop and no coming. I go to the security level. The security level, let me query this. You go to the query mode now. I go to the query mode. And then let us query for our hour. The A020 and then enter now. Let me delete it and again create it actually. So go there. Select it. Get up class is one now. So let me delete it now. Delete it. The select records will be deleted and click on yes. <clears throat> so click on save and close. Now again go there. I click on edit. You must select a row. Oh God. I click on search. <clears throat> I fail laptop. I'm searching for it. Select it and then click on OK. Selecting it. And then click on edit. I hope that it will be selected actually. So I fail laptop is coming. So click on plus now. Fine. Here it has to ask me. Oh God. Okay, I cancel. I have to go to what? Item management. I go to the security. I have to go to the security. On security. So in the security, find click on plus now. Click on plus. And then here I will not add this one. It is that D U C T product data city word. Find yours. Is there anything available there? Uh, only one now. Right? If you choose it, it has to give me four options actually. It has to give me four options. It's not giving me at all. An application error, fine. That is the thing. It has to give me four options, actually. It is not giving me that at all. Then what does it go there? I will not give a tab now. Fine, click on tab. It has to give me four different options, actually. It's not coming at all. I don't know why it's not. Give a cancel again. <clears throat> click on edit now. You must select the row. Click on search. Choose it now, I click on OK. Then I click on edit. It is not coming up and give the security. And go and then give a plus. And I will not paste it and then give a tab. Ah, this type of action has to come up. It is not coming at all previously. So I will not choose a OR now. Product it has to be OR, I am not choosing it now. I will choose a OR. We choose by default, it is not choosing EGI or something like that. Fine, it has to choose a OR actually. I will choose a OR. Chosen it an application error occurred. Something is happening on this. And give a cancel now. And again, give a cancel. So it has to come properly. Fine, it's a very sensitive one. And so what I will say, you have to do it in a very proper manner. Fine, click on Choose it, fine, click on OK now. I go to the first code. Uh, edit now and click on it and then ensure that you are on the appropriate class actually when you edit it. So I have an appropriate class only. I go to the security and click on security and then let me add it. Let me add it. You know, paste it and then give a tab now. Not choosing now, click on OR, I'm not choosing it now. Okay. I will not choose my OR over here. Oh God. Okay, and you know, I'll choose it now. A020 and then give a tab and then give a save now and an application error record. So this is the biggest problem, fine. So uh, let me, what happens, pass it for some time and then again do it. No now running the retrieve LDAP changes and then afterwards I will again try it. And sometimes what happens, uh, this setups, whatever you made on the attribute groups and then the pages actually, fine. Sometimes it needs to be sensed by the system actually. So let me run the retrieve LDAP changes and then again do it. Wait for it now, let it complete. So the retrieval DAP change has run for some good amount of time. Let me load and log in. Sign out and sign in. <clears throat> Let so these are the problems which are associated with the instances on the vision actually. 
can't go there. And then let me go to the manage item class straight away. Uh, go to the setup and menu ones. Click on it. No, go to placement. Click on search. Manage item class. No, click on it. So in the E02, and then let me search for it now. I'll be getting it. I will not use the iFi laptop. Let me click on again. Okay. Which is only iFi laptop. And then the cursor is not normally on that one. Fine, that is another one. It is already there. Right? The cursor is already in the iFi laptop only. So go there and then click on the edit mode. Click on it. So it is other than fine. Go to the security. Go to the security. So click on plus one. We want to choose the product data hub. I'm going to choose it. I want to choose the Vora. Click on OK. So here is the E020. So click on save. Click on save. At this stage, you can save. So having given this word up, you go there. You can now see the product data suite actions is coming. Fine. The function security has been given now. And go to actions. And then go to section actions. It's a very sensitive one. And then you have to be very confident on it. So do it in a very proper manner. And click on search. So not access, sorry. You should not search on anything. Fine. You have a blank search on something. Click on it. Make a blank search. Every group of the item will be coming. Fine. And then next to the action, fine. So click on this Daba. Fine. Everything will be selected in one go. Fine. Click on apply and then click on OK. So by which all are selected. Click on it. So click on OK. So now all are selected. Fine. So all the actions are selected. Actually, fine. Give a save and close. Let us know. Log out and log in. And then what happens? You again go on and create an item. Fine. Now go to that. And we are given the function security and data security for our item class. Actually, click on it. I will not sign out and sign in. So click on confirm. Signing it out. Signing it out. So click on sign in. Now let us now go and then get our item. So this time the item class has to appear because we are given the function security and data security. Go to the place. Click on the product manual. So click on it. So click on create item. <clears throat> Here you go there. Come on. So the item class has to come. If you drop down, you have to see now it's coming. You see, fine. So that is a very sensitive one. And then you have to choose the Vora now. Fine. On the product data, see what you choose the Vora. Fine. So the moment you choose this item class, you can now see the template is coming. Remember, the template has been created in the parent class of laptop, not an IFA laptop. So since whatever you created in the parent class, parent class, the templates whatever you created is applicable for all the lower level classes actually, all the hierarchical lower level classes. Thank you. So it is not done. Okay. So now the item number is sequence generated. Actually. You go and click on that. Now find the item number is now sequence generated. The description is manual actually. I will not say description. So description is manual. Okay. Description is manual. Item number is sequence generated actually. A02 and then a running number of 1000 will be coming. I will not go to the specifications. Thank you on the specifications. If you go to the specifications, you will now find our what happens the generic one and the parent one. There is a laptop general specs. The parent one is coming. coming. These two are they are what happens inherited from the previous one. So go to the A02 laptop general specs. Thank you. I'm not going to go there. So the battery, I'm going to choose it now. I'm not choosing the battery. And the graphics card, I'm choosing it. I'm not choosing the graphics card. I'm not choosing it. So these are the additional attributes which are required. And then afterwards, I go there, click on it. So click on this one. These are all the pages which are coming now. Fine. These are the two pages we are creating now. And the first page is now coming. And go to the second page now. Fine. Click on the second page. You will now find the different ones which are coming up now. So this is the radio button now. Fine. I will now choose blue now. Fine. So the RAM size is manual actually. Fine. I will now say 16 GB RAM. So it is format only. It is now coming. Fine. A to state. And drop it down. So go that one. The state, I am going to choose it as a Maharashtra. So naturally, the district will be Maharashtra's district only will be coming. Thank you. I will now say Pune is coming. The pay terms I've added the resource one now. If I click on it, you'll not drop down, you'll not find all the resources are coming. So if you know any what happens, a value set for your uh, product hub actually, fine, talk to the technical, they will not give you. So those things we can very well add over here. I'm not choosing the thing. And then the display is what is basically a drop down this box. 
So this is different from this. Now, fine, no, that it is basically a list of values you now coming like this. Now, fine, it now shows you all the list of values actually. Fine, there are hundreds of list of values. You can even have a search button actually. Whereas in a drop down list box, you will not be finding any search button at all in the drop down list box. So this is used mainly when your values are around 10 to 15. Otherwise, you will not use the generic list of values, which will have search also. So go ahead and no, say 14. So you know, chosen all these things now fine. Apart from that, the all other attributes on the remaining uh, tab regions have already been built with the template actually. So this is the custom attributes which you have defined through the laptop, the parent class as well as the child class. So our A02 laptop general specs page is coming, and then A02 laptop, the what happens the specific your 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 class uh, A2 item laptop is now coming. It is now coming in the approved state. So the moment you give a save. The item number will be created actually. Upon save, whatever you can now see, the item number is now created. So the item number will be created. A02 underscore 1000 is the number. So it is a sequence generated fine with the orders. Now, if I try to associate the child org, it will not allow because again, the function security and data security is missing. Now, fine. What are the associations? If you go there, in the associations, what happens? You will not find the function security and data security is missing. Now, fine. Go to the access and go to self net. So if you try to associate it, fine. It will not available. A02, fine. Go there. So click on search now, fine. And choose the child or fine click on apply it will now fail actually you don't have a permission at all so we have to provide the function security and data security for every org if you have enabled the governance and consolidation it does not happen so let us now go and then give it a fine right click and then duplicate now we'll go to duplicate. we will now give the function security and data security for the child org also every org it has been given if you don't enable it nothing to be given now. if you are not enabling the governance and consolidation nothing to be given otherwise if you are enabling it everything has to be given thank you so you have to have the function security and data security for everything. Fine. So manage percentage fine. It is the item percentage fine. Class percentage fine. And manage item class is the one fine click on it. Now go there. And then you will not query for the A02. Fine. A02 is the one. Fine. Click on search. And fine. Click on search. Searching for it. And then choose the i5 laptop. Fine. Click on open. By choosing it, the cursor is not going there normally. Fine. Click on edit now. We'll see whether it has gone there or not. Click on it. Come on, come on, add has gone there. What is the security? And now we have to go on and add again. No, fine, you know, go to so click on this. And remember, in this place, if you give a tab, fine, paste it and then give a tab. The four options has to come off. If it is not coming, do not proceed at all. Fine, come out of it and then do it. Now, fine, the aura has to be chosen. This is the highest power, actually. Fine, choose the aura. If these options are not coming, do not, do not go ahead at all. Fine, come on. So go there. So here in the organization, what happens? You go there. A021 is the one. Fine, go there. Give a save. After having given the function security, give a save now. Fine, click on save. And then afterwards, go down the, the actions of this. Now, fine, click on actions. And self net. And go there. Come on. I will not go there. Click on search now. Generic search. And then we normally add all the groups, basically. Everybody is all basically called a group. Fine, click on it. The, by the set of actions, there is a dubba here. If you click on it, all of them get selected in one go now. Fine. Click on apply. And then click on OK. So go there. So click on save and close. It's not done now. So it's not. <laughs> Now we go there and then try to assign it. Otherwise, we have to log out and log in. Okay, go to actions and then go to self net. So if it is allowing, it's okay. Fine, go there. Select and then click on apply and then click on done. Now, fine. Now see whether it allows or not. Yeah, it's allowing you. Fine, go. So now it has sensed the change on the function security and data security of this place. Fine. Previously, it was not throwing an error. Now, fine, click on save and close. So give us save and close. There's no doubt. <laughs> so the item is now created now. One more thing. What happens? I want to show it now. Fine, click on it. I will now go to the browse items and then query this item. Now, fine, click on it. So go the A02. So I will now choose my child org and then have a look at now. Fine. I will now choose my child org as the A02 one as the child org. Fine. Here, if you go and then see the specs on this now, fine. They are all inherited actually. If it is inherited, if you go to the specs now, fine, click on the specs, IFA specs, nothing can be changed actually. But if you make it as a default, we can very well change. It will now make it as a default. Now, fine, I will not go to the brain, right click, and that will not make it to the default. Fine. Inherited means what? At the child level, you cannot do any change at all. In this place, whatever, you cannot choose anything. Fine. Whatever is the master, they all got inherited in the child. Fine. Let us not make it as a default. No. I will not go to the place. Let us not make it as a default. Okay, from the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> you are not going to make it as a default. So click on search now. <clears throat> now go to this place. So go there. So here I will now go to what your manage item attribute groups and attributes. You know, paste it. You're not going to make it as a default. Mm. So click on it. Now go to the manage item attribute group. And then let me go to the A02 now. A02. I'm going to make a search now. Click on search. 
you know, searching for it. So I will not choose the IFA disk for Franklin on anything. Is the laptop display this one or not? I'm going to make a change. I'm going to select this and then click on edit. <clears throat> Go there. So, here what I'm going to do is here uh, the master to child is inherited. Fine. If you make it to the default, then we can change in the child or master child organization is default. So, you now change the one. So, go there. Now, having made something, we had to again deploy that. So, okay, I made a change of the default. So, we had to go on that deploy this. Thing. So the deployment is what we go there and then deploy. And de deploy item extensible flexible. So we'll not deploy it. So any changes on the attribute groups, we had to deploy it. You can now see that the tick mark would have gone now. Fine. If you go there and then query for the item. Item I'm going to query now. Or EGO we can query. So if you make a such a no, deployment is gone. And click on the deploy flexible. So we are not deploying it again much. So once when the deployment is completed, we can go there and then if you go to the browse items, you can very well what happens, make a change at the child level. So the deployment has got completed. Now if I click on OK, you can find click more and go there. So here, what happens, you go there, I will not give a cancel and then try to query it directly. Fine. If it works, otherwise I had to log out and it. And any major changes, it needs a log out. If I click on search again, I click on search. And go there. I will not query on the item which is there in the child or click on it. I will not go to the specifications and then have a little bit of the specifications. And then we go to the laptop file specification. Fine. IEA is editable actually. So on the child org, fine, it is not editable. Previously it was not editable. Now it is editable actually. It is editable actually. So go that one. So go that one. I will not give a cancel. So this activity is now completed. So inheritation and then defaulting is now completed. And then what happens? We had to add it. No point. Only when you add it, you'll be getting it. No point. Then only what happens? It'll be possible for us to assign to the child. No now, I'm not going to make one demonstration on the rule based on description concatenation. Actually. I will not go to the rule set and then let us now create one what happens, a concatenation rule set. No point. Take on. So we are going to what happens, create a rule set for concatenating the attributes into the description column. No point. Don't go there. No point. Uh, I will not click on done. No point. No point. I will go to the placement report. I will go to the setup and maintenance. I will not, not via this actually fine. So for this, don't go via this actually fine. Go via the product hub actually. So for this, what happens? You go there, go to the product management, go to the product information management. So here, you use the governance and consolidation of this area and then do it now fine. That is the best way. Don't go via the generic area now fine. Click on it. So in the product information management, you'll be having it now fine. So here, we'll be having what? Manage the rule set now fine. Click on it. So I will not go to what? Manage change orders, manage item rules is the one. Fine. Click on the manage item rules is the one. Fine. Click on this link and then go via this. No, under the data governance, actually. Under the data governance, we have a link. Fine. Use this link. No, fine. Click on trust. I'm not going to create it. No. So I'm going to create a rule set. Actually. The display name is what? I'm not going there. So I will now say description display and take off it. I will now say, what happens? This is the A02 description display. I'm not going to give a tap. It will all be coming on my decision. So go there. Click on. Type. So it has got two types of things. One is an assignment, and then one is what validation. Of right? I will have to work on the validation of the fine. assignment. Is what is going to assign the description. Is what is it? You go to the place. I will not say what I was. It is an attribute group only. Fine. So an attribute. Group. I will not say item class. Fine. Right? Click on item class. Not the association. Fine. Right? Association name. Fine. Right? A zero two. I will not give a tab. No. Right? <coughs> I will not choose the laptop, the parent laptop, because the descriptions are basically master controlled actually. <laughs> Don't choose anything on the item level, fine. Uh, the item class. So there are various options are there. So that you have to make an R and D fine. Whenever I make an R and D, I will not add a record also on So go to that point. It is not in a draft mode, fine. It's the item class A02 to laptop, fine. And the master level, the parent level, we are doing it now, fine. Description concatenation, we are going to use with the laptop. Fine. Click on the save and continue. And go there. Save and continue, I'm going to do it now. Fine. It's not enough. So go there. So click on it. Everything is now coming over. You know, if I click on it. I will not click on plus. So you'll be having a if and then self statement actually. You'll be having an if then statement. I will not say sequence number is 10 now. So the name is what? I will not say A02. Fine. Uh, laptop. Fine. Uh, parent. I will not say laptop. I will not say parent. Uh, uh, what was it? Description. Yes, C R I T T I O N. The name I'm giving it now. Fine, whatever. So the name I'm giving it. Fine. Laptop parent description. Fine, so take copy of it and then put the description. Fine, 
So what happens is the generic is not coming from that. It is not generic actually. We are now going to modify the particular column only. And return type is what? It is now the return will be updating the item description actually. Thank you, Connor. We are now going to update the item description. Item description is going to be updated actually. Fine. The remaining columns are going away actually on this now. Thank you, Connor. Okay. So click on okay. So the 10 sequence is now coming. Fine. Laptop parent description is the one. Thank you, Connor. It's now coming. So in the uh, if statement, I will now write T R U E. Fine, all of them are unsolved. You know that. Then also is what true? Fine, you can even do a lot of activities on this one. So you have to make an R and D on this. One. So in the return type, what I'm going to do is I'm going to concatenate certain different values of whatever you have chosen into the description. Actually, I will now click on right click in this place. What am I right click and then insert attribute on the return type? What happens? You right click and then click on insert attribute. I'm going to insert attribute. Fine, go on. I will now say item. Fine, go or the item, what happens? Attribute group is what? A02. And then give a tab. I will not choose the i5 specs actually. Fine. Laptop general specs is only coming. Since I'm doing it in the, in the main level, fine. Attribute. So drop down. So since I'm doing it in the main level, what happens? It's not coming actually. Fine. So you have got graphics card. If you can even do it for the child also, fine. You can try this one. Fine. Fine. So it is a double equal to is coming. Fine. Double equal to is coming. Fine. Click on insert. The graphics card, whatever is choosing on the higher level, what happens? Similarly, we can even do it for the child also. Fine, remember, fine. And the item of fine, click on insert. Doing it now, fine, click on turn on, and then go there. And then here, what happens? I will not say plus. Fine, go there. I will not give a double. Fine, go there. Uh, triple space, and then give a double quote now. Fine. So after uh, triple space, what happens? You go there, click on it. I'm not giving it. Fine. I will not say one and also. Fine. One and. Fine, go there. I will not again give a plus, and then what happens? Uh, uh, double quote, fine, fine, double space, fine. So, whatever is, these are all uh, extra spaces actually, and then under coming, fine, go there, and then this one, go there. So, click on plus, no, fine, go there. I will not right click, and then again insert an attribute. Insert an attribute, go there. So, go there. I will not graphics card, I will not choose the display. No. <clears throat> battery, I'm on the battery. Is it double equal to, fine, go there. So, whatever you entered in, that will be coming over, you know, fine, click on and that's it. So we are now given everything now. Fine. So this is the way the item description is going to work out. Fine. Click on validate on this one. Fine. Click on validate. It will not validate everything. Is that you okay now? The system errors, a syntax error is reported line level one. Fine. If expression. Fine. So it is a oh, true. Fine. T R U E true. No. No. So click on validate now. Fine. Click on validate. <clears throat> now what about it? Now it is now validating. Fine. So it doesn't is valid actually. The rule is valid. So it's not done. Fine. So uh, either graphics display and some distance and then afterwards battery. Now. So click on save and close. So we are now created our rule now, fine. Our specific rule for our laptop level actually, fine. Parent laptop level. Again. We can even do it similarly for the child level also. Fine. Click on save and close. It is all done. Now. And the parent level is known. Now what I'm going to do is the description will be rule based generation. Fine. Click on. We will now make a change at the item class. Now fine. Click on it. We will now go to the item class. Fine. Click on it. The description will be rule based now. Click on. There are so many options of the adding addition now. Fine. You have to only do it now. Fine. Click on. And then make a check on this thing now. Click on. You know, fine. So many options are available now. So go to the search now. Fine. Click on search. And then go to the manage item class. Manage percentage. Fine. Item percentage. Fine. Class percentage. So go to the manage item class. I will not query me again. My i5 laptop now. So A02. Now this time I'm going to do it on the parent level. Fine. Description is normally always in the parent level. Fine. We won't be doing it at the, at the child level actually. The parent level you're going to do it. But we can even pick up the i5 laptop specification also. Fine. I don't know how to do it now. Fine. So uh, try to pick up these values and then populate on the concatenation actually because that is not coming there at all. Fine. Remember, not coming at all. Fine. You have to go and then make a search on this. The list of values is not coming. Now, fine. So go there. What is this? I will not choose the laptop and click on OK now. I will, go there. I will not click on edit now. Not see the main laptop is laptop is coming. So I go to the item management and then here I will not say what happens. The description is going to be rule. Uh, what happens? Rule generated. I click on the rule generated. So here if you choose it, my rule has to come over. You know, I click on the rule generated. So in the bottom, what happens? The loose has to come. Fine, that talk about my rule is coming. The description goes coming. So associated rule is coming. So the description is now rule generated. So we can have multiple options inherited and then user defined. And the user defined is the writing in the manual. Now it's rule generated. So go there. So the rule is now giving you now. So the NIR, I will be using it afterwards. I am meant to learn it now. So go there. So in the description now, the, uh, the what's called the 
item number is now sequence generated and then now descriptions are now rule generated. Five click on set of rules. It's all completed. Let us now log out and log in and then test it actually. So click on it. So click on that. So I have now given the attributes only from the parent level and not at the child level actually. Fine. But we can even very well add the child level attributes. Actually. The child level attributes also can be added to the description concatenation actually. <clears throat> so click on sign in now. You know, logged out and logged in. Any major changes, you always have a habit of what? Signing out and signing in. You know, go to the product management. And then you go to the product information management. Go there. So click on create item now. So click on create item. The A020 now. So A020 is the one. Go there. So drop down your item class is coming now. I click on it. Your template is coming. I click on it. Now the description will be grayed out as what? Rule generated actually. Fine, it is not possible. Even after you save it, the description cannot be modified. And go to the specifications fine. So at the parent level, you are given it up and component. You must enter a value on this one. Battery and graphic cards. No asking fine. So, so go there. So we have to give the mandatory attributes now. Fine component. So it's now asking you this thing as the mandatory attributes. So because the description is going to be what rule generated actually. Fine, drop down. Fine, go there, I will not choose three hours now. Fine component. I must say battery is what? 2K resolution. So it has now come in the main overview area itself as a what mandatory attribute as a mandatory attribute. So since the description is basically what rule generated, so those two attributes have come in the mandatory in the overview itself. It has come as this, right? three hours and then two K resolution. Fine. If you go to the specifications, I click on the specifications and go there. So if you go to the general specs, fine. So go there. So it is only come. So here, what happens? It is grayed out actually. In the overview only it is now coming as what we had to edit it to find that becomes a mandatory attribute. So if you go on then give a save, the description has to get generated. The item has to come, the description has to come. Click on save. You're now saving it now. So go there. Information for items also is now there. Thank you. So message from the rules now is what I say. So click on OK now. There's an information thank you. And you can now see the 2K resolution with this much of a space and then within this much of a three hours is come. So we can concatenate the description, fine. And then I have taken only from the master, actually. Fine, in this place, I have taken only from the laptop master. But we can even take up from the uh, lower level also. From the from the child also, we can very well check it up. And this place also, we can very well choose it. So whatever you're giving it, and nothing is mandatory. And so whatever, nothing is coming. We can even make these values as mandatory also. So try that. And then if you succeed on the lower level also to, for the concatenation to be great, actually. Fine. Only one level I tested it. So the other level, I have not tested it, actually. There are plenty of uh, what happens the things to learn. Uh, and then now you can very well associate it. Associate it. And then the description cannot be modified because it is rules generated. Actually. Whenever you make a change there, the description will be getting automatically changed actually. Go to the actions. And then go to actions and go to self map. So this time what happens it will be coming. A02 is the one. <coughs> so if you know even much more than what I know, please join the training. And so you share your thoughts and then your knowledge also. I've already invited my uh, what happens, advanced uh, uh, workers on this uh, product hub actually so they will also be joining actually so uh, it will be really a very useful interaction actually fine you will know, learn a lot the biggest advantage in my training is what i get even some experienced guys because they also wanted to learn certain amount of things on this now fine <laughs> so they join and then they what happens they share the knowledge actually so the item is assigned and then the description now rule generated it is not sequence generated and rule generated so now what happens you go there and then I have to learn the balance topics. Okay? The NIR, I have to learn now. Fine, the other things also as well. So go that on. So with which I conclude this introduction to product information management. And then let me hope that we'll be covering maximum uh, during the training actually. Go there. So bye for now. And then let us know. Meet the training, which is starting on 4th of March. Actually. Bye for now.